it seems like all you guys are connected in some way and all share the same foundation. Um, what piece of advice would you give to inspiring dancers out there that are trying to learn this art form? We all have adversity. All you have to do is use your adversity and connect it into movement and connect it to any style of dance that you want to do. You know, for us, punking, posing, and whacking has just given us more freedom. That's really what it has done. You know, Archie talked about, I want to get emotional. Archie talked about not being able to be out, you know, to go do his thing, so he watched television. We used to come home at night sometimes, Andrew and Tinker and, and Lonnie and Claude and all these people that a lot of people don't know about, and we would come home at, late at night, and back then in those days, we didn't have MTV, we didn't have all of this, so we would watch the movies without the sound because you don't want to wake your parents up because some of us still lived at home. So we were imitating movies. We were imitating cartoons, we were imitating visions that we saw, books and things. So for us it was a movement to get rid of the adversity that we went through with our lives. And the irony of it all is, it was called punk. Punking, which means fag in the Urban Dictionary. So people started saying, oh, those are just punks, they're just punking. So you actually, we actually ended up turning a negative into a positive, and that's how it became. So use your adversity. And if you use your adversity and what you come from, you'll be a great dancer, a great artist. And don't, and don't, don't judge or set people in categories. Just, I had somebody said, oh, it came from Hispanics. Oh, it came from blacks. Oh, it came from whites. You know, when I was looking at the dance, I didn't even notice any of the colors. It didn't matter to me. It was what they were sharing with their heart that mattered to me. So it wasn't about that, and it wasn't about what area, it just had to do with dance and expression and release. Great. And I think it's very important not to compare yourself to others too, you know, um, to other dancers or even your teacher, so to speak. Um, so, yeah. Real quick. I mean, if you were to do that, we wouldn't have all the different flavors that we have in dance. Everybody would be doing one style. How boring is that? We all have to have self-expression. And if you can't accept my self-expression, then maybe you need to move on to somebody else that you would like to gather information from. It's about gathering to see how you can get in touch with who you are yourself. That's what dance is. So you don't need somebody else's history or things like that to make who you are. You have to make your own history and believe in yourself. And that's what new styles of dance come out because somebody took a chance to do something a little different and somebody else looked at it and appreciated it and it grows. That's how it comes to hip hop, locking, popping, whacking, voguing, jazz, ballet, modern. If you think about it, dance is dance. It all should be what you like and what you want to share and express.